So we've got big, big breaking news on the Dow Jones Industrial Average. It is getting basically a makeover. Salesforce, Amgen, Honeywell set to join the Dow, replacing ExxonMobil, Pfizer, and Raytheon. Let's get more reaction. Joining us now is Howard Silverblatt, Senior Index Analyst at S&P Dow Jones Indices. Howard, great to have you with us. Um, what do you think the, these moves reflect? Well, it reflects the market. Uh, and there's a fourth item in there, and that's Apple's uh, uh, split that also takes effect. Basically, Apple by itself, forgetting the three changes, took the technology group within uh, the Dow from 27.6% down to 20.3%, okay, a significant decline. Uh, we use that as a, uh, an additional item uh, in making the adjustment. By adding Salesforce, you come back to about 23.1% of the Dow being in technology. The other changes also uh, reflected more what the market is doing, especially the United Technologies when they did the spinoff became Raytheon, mm -hmm. so the adding of, of Honeywell more in, in, in this field, and of course Amgen as compared to, to, to Pfizer, uh, which is, is more current at this point in time. How much money, if you know this, Howard, how much money is actually indexed to the Dow Jones Industrial Average? I mean, obviously the S&P 500 is is the big one, yeah, I, but there are I, I, ETFs that are indexed uh, to the right. Dow. I do, I do not have the current okay. ones, but this will cause a, an amount of, of change that they're going to have to do. They'll be selling, obviously, uh, seven, buying and selling seven issues here, the ads, the deletes, and the Apple. Uh, so it will be a bit of a, 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 a cost factor on them, and there will be a drag on their performance because of that. Yeah. What's remarkable, though, Howard, if you think about how the Dow will trade once these inclusions are made, is that Apple, the biggest company in the world, will now be a much lesser impact on the Dow than even a Salesforce. Yes. yes. Uh, App, Apple will have that performance based on tonight's 2.99%, just under 3%. They are right now, before the split, 12.2%. But uh, Salesforce will have almost 5 Amgen 5.6%. Honeywell 3.8. So all those additions will have more of a weight than Apple will. Uh, to some degree, the uh, re-weighting of Apple because its foot is, is profit-taking to some degree. You, you've locked in the three-quarters of your shares, but you've also reallocated them to the next. So it's definitely going to be a different index uh, on this going forward. You've uh, been in the space for quite some time, Howard. I mean, I remember <laughs> calling you up when I was a Cub reporter. Um, in terms of the, the amount of, of changes that have just been announced today and will happen over the next, you know, 24 hours or so or, or however long it takes to have these inclusions, um, is this uh, an unusual thing? It, it, it's extremely unusual, yeah. the amount of changes. I mean, we've had three, four historically changes in the Dow, but this is a massive amount, especially when you add in uh, apples, which we wasted significantly. So we expect to see a lot of action on that, a lot of buying and selling, uh, and it definitely will have a lot of performers out there showing the, the, uh, the new and old makeups, you know, of that. Uh, again, technology still is going down from 27.6 down to 23.1. Uh, which is a significant change in the healthcare also picks up from 14.2 to 18.6. So there's a, a lot of variance in there uh, as compared to what the prior Dow makeup was. Howard, great to speak with you and get your analysis of this uh, breaking news. Appreciate it. Howard, Sil Howard Silverblatt of S&P. Um, it's remarkable to think about the weighting, overall weighting on, of technology in the Dow going down slightly, healthcare going up, Tim. It sounds like, uh, right, I mean, scrambling really to be more uh, representative of where the market is. And, and it is, it's, uh, look, the, we, we at times are critical of a price-weighted index for moments like this. Um, and or, you know, should, should Salesforce be a bigger play than, you know, who, who knows? Um, but I think the significance here is that uh, you have to be representative. And, and we talk about how European indices, especially the DAX, underperform. And no matter what, they're going to underperform because they have no technology and they have no mega cap tech plays. Um, so I, I think uh, the, the Dow is very aware of this and there are, uh, you know, dynamics at work. I, I think Exxon out of the Dow is a historic day. Uh, and it really tells you and it punctuates what's happened to the energy sector. But but Exxon is is uh, one of the great proud uh, you know, members of this index. And clearly this is a sad day.
It's, it, it is amazing to think, Guy, um, that Exxon goes out. I, it's like when GE went out. I mean, there's certain, you know, iconic U.S. companies that go out and you're like, wow. Yeah. No, and listen, we've talked about, the, you know, the existential risk to Exxon. Think about all the headwinds they were facing. And then sort of ESG investing has come with a whirlwind. And that's not going away anytime soon. That obviously huge existential risk. And now this news, I mean, it's very hard to make a compelling reason to own ExxonMobil, the stock. And, I, you know, I don't know where it's going to trade tomorrow. But those lows we saw probably back in March are within the crosshairs for sure and probably, unfortunately, rightly so. Yeah. Uh, Dan, Salesforce also reports tomorrow. So this is interesting news for Salesforce ahead of the earnings. Yeah, it doesn't help. The stock's trading at a new all-time high here. Expectations yeah. pretty high. Um, listen, you know, people have to buy these things for index purposes. But um, just like Palo Alto had a good quarter, the stock can still sell off a little, uh, little bit, consolidate probably some of these recent gains. Yeah, 4% moves across the board pretty much for all of these new uh, Dow components.